Hello guys. So today we'll be learning about uh, custom markers. Okay. So what happens in like uh, you need to execute your test. Uh, for example, you want to group a uh, few tests together. Okay. So in that case, uh, you have to give some tag, right? So if you are coming from cucumber background, then you probably know about tags, right? So you you group your tests by giving like regression or sanity something like that so here in uh, PyTest actually we have similar kind of feature which we can do using markers so let's implement that okay so for example I'm giving a marker like at the rate PyTest dot mark dot uh, let's say I'm adding it as a regression okay as a regression so so I'm giving this name as regression okay and then here for the second test I'm giving it as a sanity okay and let's say this sanity is also applies for this my tests okay this test example so there are two sanity tests and why it's giving rate let's say I think we need to import PyTest okay so there is two sanity tests, tests and one regression test okay so let's execute it and uh, now this time we, I mean this time we are, we are executing only the sanity tests okay so what we can do like PyTest minus S minus B this is common for all the tests wherever you need it and then what you have to do for executing uh, only sanity uh, you have to give this minus m flag so minus m stands for markers okay so minus m and then sanity and let's execute it okay I think I need to keep the double quote or okay it's working still that's fine So it's execute the logout scenario and also it executes uh, this test example as well because this will be executed in uh, headless mode right so now this time I want to execute the regression so there is only one regression scenario so I mean we should see we should see like one passed and two deselected okay so let's execute it and you can see there is one selected it was shown this time it should fail because our test is like we have intentionally failed it right so let's solve it once again okay and let's wait for a couple of seconds and then it should fail but our what we wanted to know that is working right And one thing you might have noticed here, I mean, uh, like there is a warning summary is also given. So it's saying like uh, PyTest unknown markers, unknown PyTest dot mark dot sanity. Is this a typo? You can register custom markers to avoid this uh, to avoid these warnings. For details, see this document. So let's open this. And here, if I come here, it's saying like we need to register our uh, markers or marks as pi and in this file so pytest dot any file so let's copy it okay uh, let's copy this part and and the last one you can see like this is this got failed and it should see one fail and two deselected right so let's copy this one and let's create in the root directory let's create one file as uh, pytest dot ini that's what we need to create yes okay and here we need to paste this copied thing and here instead of slow we can write like regression and my 
marks the test as regression. Okay, and here instead of serial, we can mention like sanity. Um, I just copy it, and also it is telling us a few thing, a uh, few more thing like deselect with minus m. Okay, minus m, and then not show. Okay, that is also possible. Like I will show you what I want, what is saying. So now let's execute it. Uh, we have already registered it, right, in this pytest.ini file. So we should not see this warning now. Okay, and this time I would do one thing. Like I would use this not sanity one. So that means only regression should be executed. So not sanity. So yep, you can see one passed and two deselected. So only one test, which is test zero one, login with valid credentials. This test got passed right and uh, if you noticed uh, there is no warning summary like we got in the previous test executions right so now we can also instead of not we can give some other operator as well like sanity and uh, regression okay so It's x0 deselected. Why? Because we wanted to execute sanity and regression both. But what we are giving this AND operator. That means uh, whatever let, it is like if you know AND operation. AND operations this, this condition should be satisfied to 1 or true when both sanity and regression would be present in all the tests. Right? But here we are marking it as sanity only. And here we are marking it as regression only. Right? And the top. Oh, sorry this one uh, this one is regression and this one is sanity right but uh, as per this one both sanity and regression should be available so let's see let's for example I wanted to make the logout scenario as both sanity and regression okay I'm just marking it I mean, grouping it as Mean this logout logout test should be executed for both sanity and regression. Okay, so this time if I run it now, only we should see this state zero out. Okay, because both these uh, checks are getting satisfied, right? Means both are both tags are available or both markers are available. Okay, so this got passed, and uh, what else? And if I give or operator. So all means as you know in whichever sanity or regression would be there it should be executed. Okay now let's remove uh, this marker from here or maybe make it as uh, some different name let's say sanity 1 okay or maybe we can make it as uh, test example okay this is example some, some kind of example okay this this is not a part of this uh, test so this is just example that is why I'm giving it as example tag okay so now if I execute it we should see only those sanity and regression tests should be tests should be executed okay as you can see like both this logout and login scenario got executed because we give all operator here and in we I mean in any scenario where this uh, the regression or sanity would be there it should be executed okay so this is how we can logically uh, end and or uh, both the different types of tags and execute our tests so it helps to group your tests together uh, using these pytest markers so we do not need to create different different folders uh, for grouping your tests okay so you just give these tags or these markers and you can execute your tests okay
okay so i think we have covered all the things related to this markers custom markers so i hope you have good you have got some good understanding on this and let me know if you have any question thank you for watching like share and subscribe please